about you, Granger. You're mine. <laughs> Sit tight, tough guy. I'll be out of here in a minute. Half. Huh? Give me that you missing stick! Come on, give it to me! Give it back! Hey, Harry, can you two keep it down in here? A man needs his genius sleep. Huh? huh? Kate, take this evidence. General! General! Something tells me I'd better wake the others. Hey, General, wanna watch a little sports TV? West Ham United's playing Arsenal. It'll help you feel better. I'll just turn on the TV. Mm. Oh, or we could just leave it off. All you need to feel better is a cup of my special homemade soup. Mm. First aid and cooking go hand in hand when you're a genius. That tastes horrible. Oh, <laughs> whoops, sorry. That's not the soup. It's one of my most recent experiments. Mm. Uh, a harmless, drinkable experiment. Here's the soup. That tastes even worse. Mm. Yeah, that's the soup. Enough! We've got work to do. <laughs> you see? The soup worked its magic. The general's back to his old self. Where did you get this, General? I've been suspicious of General Granger for some time, but he's much too powerful politically. I needed some hard evidence, so I obtained this from Granger's own surveillance archives. I can't believe you stole this. I am so proud. Just play the footage, Kane. All right, I'll feed the images to the big TV so we can all see. The territory will be split evenly between the two of us. I'll control the Western Hemisphere. You can have what's left of the Eastern Hemisphere. We'll keep strict borders between us, and I mean strict. Who's Granger talking with? Can you enhance the image, Doc? Going all the way down the field, and he shoots! Go! Go! Yeah! That 
That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, sorry. I just had to check the score. It's Scopes. General Granger is working with Scopes? Talk about a bad combination. There's more footage. Good human. We of the genus will serve you well. Serve for all you are worth. And the launch with our special cargo? Is it ready? The payload has been moved to Cape Canaveral and should be ready to launch in two days. After that, we'll continue on my schedule. We should achieve world domination in less than two weeks. Let's get one thing straight, Scopes. I don't like you, but I'm no fool. This is an opportunity to fix what's wrong with the world. I can save it. I can save all those poor, misguided fools from themselves. Any decent moral society has to be ruled with an iron fist. It's what's best for them and for the world. Yes, you humans have made a mess of this world in squabbling amongst your own species. We will help you. We will teach you. No. Oh. You will stay on your side of the planet, or else! We are the genus! We are not humans! We will honor the pact between us! Now get out of here! You make me sick! Whatever you desire, Granger! Fortunately, that's all I had time to copy. We better let Dr. Reed know, and... No, I thought about that. We can't. If Granger thinks she knows anything, he'll send his men after her. We can't endanger her life like that. It would be safer to take this evidence to the highest authority. Shh, shh. Wait. That noise. I don't hear anything. Bright thing supposed to be up in the sky or something? Derek, the number one lesson in looking smart is to be really early for class. Uh... Okay, see those guys running? They're probably late for class. We'll put out the fire and get the fist. You two grab those guys from the helicopter. Hey, guys, did you see two men land in that helicopter? You mean two guys in dark sunglasses? And black caps that ran away? Yes! Nope, didn't see him. But you just said... Come on, sir. Don't even bother. I found it! I found it! And it's still in one piece! Harry? What? This is one of those special remote controls that can change channels at up to 50 yards. Uh, Dr. Kane? Hmm, so much for our evidence. Well, there's only one thing to do now. Saddle up and save the world. We'll just get a little more evidence the old-fashioned way. We'll manufacture it. I'm just kidding, General. We need to find out what Granger is doing working with Scopes. And there's only one place to find out. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Dr. King, I wanted you to know that I upgraded the battle armor and it... Uh-huh, that's great, kiddo. Lieutenant, set it down over there in those reeds. We'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Uh, 
Ranger's men are all over. This must be the place. Hey, Harry, I upgraded the battle armor and... Yeah, not right now, Wayne. Ira, any sign of the genus? Not yet, but... <laughs> Smells like there's about to be. everybody ah, hey lizard face get your own ass welcome to the party try the selenium dip it's devo delicious <laughs> A new Olympic event, and I just took the gold. Or should I say the purple? Uh, it's evolved an immunity. Quick, Doc, make a new mix. It's getting away. No, wait. Let's see where it's going. Maybe it'll crawl home to Papa Scopes. Now there's a touch and reunion I don't mind missing. Hmm. There's no pot heat signature, but it has to be around here somewhere. My guess is we'll find it in that hangar. I'll race you, Lieutenant. Let's see if I can make a new selenium mix before you can get us inside. Oh, don't go any further. I've been sent to relieve you of duty. You're not even our unit. Put your hands up. You're making a big mistake. Yeah, big talk. Come on, let's take her down. Oh. Oh. Did she learn that from you? Well, the blue beret has to be fast. Not fast enough, Lieutenant Lucy. Here's the new mix. Looks like a tie. In there! In the game for the Alienators, Airy Block! And the crowd goes wild! I think we just took the genus out of the space race. Kane, Lieutenant, over here! I found the payload container. Let's see what Granger was going to use to dominate the world. I don't get it, Dr. Kane. Why would Granger want to launch genus cells into space? My best guess is that Granger wanted to create an outbreak where we couldn't touch him. Not acceptable. Time to clean up this mess. Drop your weapons and step away from the genus! Stand down, Lieutenant. We'd never make it. General Woodman, I was under the impression that my men had taken care of you. But no matter, you'll soon witness the first step in establishing my new world order. In less than an hour, Project Alpha Omega will get underway. General Granger, you have to listen to me! Scopes is using you! I have Scopes under my control. In fact, I've used your research, Dr. Kane, to help me bring the genus into line. You can't confine the genus to half the world. They will evolve. They'll develop an immunity. 
That is why you will be part of my new world order. You will be useful to me. Besides, I know fear when I see it. Scopes is afraid of me. They'll stick to their side. You're working with the enemy. Sometimes you have to make a deal with the enemy to save the world. Sir, the rocket is ready. All systems go. Commencing countdown. Guys, I upgraded the battle armor and it's great, Wayne. Oh, we're never going to stop that launch now. Come on, Harry. It's fourth quarter and we're down the field. But we can still hit a home run, right? Right? We are so lost. Listen, on the count of three, press the small center button just inside the wrist guard of the battle armor. On three, press the small center button. On three, press the center button. On three, the center button. On three. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> you upgraded the battle armor. I tried, but... Oh, Come on, Gassy. We're getting out of here. Time to accelerate the launch. Countdown accelerated. Minus three minutes counting. Hey, how come the bad guy's getaway vehicles are always black? You ever wonder that? You'd think for once they could, like, mix it up and go for a nice peach or a burgundy. Shh! Come on, team! Let's get out of here! You've got to stop that launch! There's only two minutes! We can't fight our way back inside. I've got another idea. Sir, if you can buy me some time. I'll hold them off, Lieutenant. If it's the last thing I do. Stop. You guys get the veto. There's going to be another outlet. Where? Right where that rocket used to be. Spotters report incoming military, not friendly to our cause. Out the back. Hurry! Take him into custody. Let's do it. Granger. Well, the good news is that we stopped the launch. There's no genus getting into space. Sir, General Granger got away. He could be miles from here by now. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> she learned that from you? Yes, I'm afraid she did. Listen to that 
uproar. The animals are going crazy. There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. <gasps> Space Station immediately. Repeat. Evacuate Space Station immediately. He's right behind us! Let's get out of here! Genius, I've dreamed of going into space. Oh, yeah? Well, I haven't! Come on, Harry! Motion sickness is a small price to pay to explore the wonders of the cosmos, the stars, the planets. Oh, just imagine! I am! All that space and that moving around and the bouncing. And up becomes down and down becomes up. Oh, you can't make me go. Oh, you can't. No way! Uh-uh! I'm not going into space and you can't make me! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, Harry. Okay, Wayne. Take care of him. Sorry, Harry, but you left us with no choice. Wayne? What are you doing? We're friends! Buddies? Pals? Amigos? Compadres? No! Must not look! I am not looking! Oh, look! Sports! Ooh! The Havana Invitational High Life Semi-Finals! The selenium tanks in the laboratory module have been loaded. Lieutenant, you're clear for takeoff. What the? Uh. Affirmative, Dr. Reed. Initiating launch countdown. 10 and holding. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Uh, Lieutenant Lucy, have you ever flown one of these things before? Don't worry, Doc. I'm authorized. Why am I not surprised? Six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Get out, guys. We're there. We're in space. Oh, don't remind me. Wow. Helmets off, people. Hey. Huh? Space is wicked, Dr. Kane. I'm glad you like it, kiddo. Mmm. You tricked me! Space! Zero gravity! Oh, I feel funny. Harry, it's all in your head. You didn't get sick once while we took off. I didn't? You're right. I didn't. Harry, you'll be fine just as long as you think about sports. You're right. I'll start naming sports to get my mind off of things. Let's start with A. Aggressive skating, alligator wrestling, hard... Kane, listen up. We have reason to believe that the outbreak on the space station is no accident. General Granger is probably behind it. And where there's Granger, there's scopes. 
Docking successful. Equalizing cabin pressure. Loading, bungee jumping, bocce ball. What happened here, Dr. Kane? Genus <gasps> happened. Weapons ready, people. Full alert. Scopes could be around any corner. Climbing, canoeing, cow tipping. <laughs> Picking up a heat signature behind one of these panels. Genus? Uh, I can't be sure. Wayne, do the honors. You got it, Dr. Kane. <laughs> well, it's it's not genus, but it is a pony. Watch out, everyone. It could be deadly. <laughs> Pony? In space? Uh, Houston? We have a pony. Dr. Reed, is there something you're not telling us? Ira, the space station is called the Ark. They were observing the effects of zero gravity on animals to see how viable inhabitation of the moon would be. Unfortunately, their experimentation was cut short. When the genus attacked? You mean the animals were just left here? Ah, oh, that is not right. We have to save them, Dr. Kane. All in good time, kiddo. First, we have to save the world. Then we'll round up this zero-gravity petting zoo. Hey! Check it out! Gassy's got a pet pony! Aw, oh, yeah, good pony! A good, good pony! <laughs> <laughs> Devolution time! Don't worry, guys. I got it. Football, free throws, oh, zero gravity. I should have known that would happen. Take that! Or not. I got it, Dr. Kane. Wait, no! The structure of the space station is designed to absorb electrical pulses. Our weapons are useless in the zero gravity of space. So tell me, Ira, when does the fun start? Quick, behind these doors! We can't fight the genus in zero G. We have to get to the central hub of the station and reinitiate the gravity. But how are we gonna get through that thing, Dr. Kane? You're right, we can't. But we can get around it. We're going outside. There? Uh, we're what? Oh, I don't think there's enough sports in the world to keep my mind off of that. Whoa! Ah, whatever we do, we have to do it now! On three, head for the airlock. Three! What happened to one and two? Harry, come on! <laughs> Calm down, Harry. We're all wearing space suits. Or at least most of us are. What about Gassy, Dr. Kane? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm a genius. I've got a plan. Harry, you're the biggest, so your suit should be large enough. Four? Oh, no, you don't. Too fast. Hey, that was an illegal play. How you doing, Gassy? Hey, what about me? No one ever asked me how I'm doing. I'm the one with a genetically engineered stink monster in his spacesuit. Man, life is so unfair. Gentlemen, I can't keep it up forever. Come on, people. <laughs> 
The outer door of the airlock won't open. Time for a little manual override. No problem, Dr. Kane. Follow me. Dr. Kane, this is wicked. The floor is polarized into a mega magnet. Yeah, it's like that on purpose. It should be enough to stop us from being flung off the surface and into space. Good, because I'm staying right here. Harry, you're standing on the surface of an abandoned space station, drifting aimlessly through space. I don't care. I'm not moving from this spot. Hmm. You're not helping. We have to get to the central computer located in the space station's hub. I've got an idea. Here, kiddo, hold this. Here goes nothing! You're next, kiddo. Uh-uh! No way! It's okay, Harry. Think of it as a long jump competition. Long jump? I'm not to the L's yet. Just don't look down. Or up. Sorry, guys. There's absolutely positively nothing which could make me jump into space. <gasps> Except maybe that. Time to bring the EXP robot online and access the space station's computers. Reactivate gravity rotation. Already on it, sir. Now, all I have to do is reinitiate the station's gravity. Online, General Granger, and the XP robot is operating at 100%. Ira, next time give us a little warning before you turn the gravity back on. But uh, I didn't do it. it. It came on by itself. Excellent. What is the status of the station's computer security? Just as you expected, General. All security systems were rebooted when the gravity was reinitiated. We can begin accessing the launch codes immediately. Good. Soon we'll have the orbiting nuclear missile platforms under our control, and my new world order will be at hand. Aye, aye, sir. What about Dr. Kane and the others? They might interfere. Well, if the robot doesn't neutralize them, I'm sure the genus will. Dr. Reed, seems Granger left a little surprise for us. General, I've started receiving a broadcast on a high-level channel from the space station. It's Granger. He's begun downloading the launch codes. He'll have to hack each number individually from the mainframe. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about, General? The launch codes to our total planetary missile defense systems are contained in the space station's central computers. And the launch codes are on the space station because... They're control codes. The scientists were going to use the space station as a hub to decommission all 208 orbiting nuclear missiles. If Granger gets those launch codes with one simple push of a button, he could end all life on Earth. And you didn't think that this was worth mentioning? It's classified information, Kate. We weren't sure that Granger knew about it. Well, obviously he does. Keep your combat boots on, General. We'll stop it right now. <laughs> Make 
That as soon as we can. If you see Skokes, let me know. I got a Petri dish with his name on gravity. it. Gravity. I love gravity. <laughs> Look at me. Not floating. I'm not sick. Harry, just evolve them already. Uh, right. you a little present courtesy of planet Earth. Now, the only one left is Scopes. Dr. Reed, we've evolved the outbreak, but we can't find Scopes. Ira, focus. We don't even know if Scopes is there, but we do know that Granger's robot is still transmitting. Kane, hurry up. We're on it, GW. And don't call me GW. We have to stop that robot. Okay, Dr. Kane. Uh -huh. All our fighting must have damaged the station's stabilizing controls. Meaning we're going down. In a matter of minutes, we'll re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Ira, that space station is not designed for re-entry. I know. We'll burn up. <laughs> Okay, kiddo. You clean up the genus cells and round up the animals. We'll stop Granger's robot. And keep your eyes open. You got it, Dr. Kane. And come on, monkey. Come on, Bonnie, let's go. Time to put an end to this robot's broadcasting day. Ira, I think we have a problem. Ugh, it's too powerful. Okay, people. Plan B. Wayne, how you doing with those animals? Um, the genus cells are contained, and Gassy and I have the animals safe in the shuttle. Good. People, helmets on and strap in. Deactivating gravity. Here goes nothing. Opening airlock. Granger from getting the launch codes and rescue the animals. Not a bad day's work. Um, Wayne, are you sure you got all the animals? Sure did, Harry. I even collected every last one of the roaches. It wasn't easy. Those guys kept getting loose. There's something in my suit. Those bugs are in my suit. Get them out. Oh, get them out. Oh, there they are. I've been looking all over for those cockroaches. Thanks for keeping them safe, Harry. For the love of everything good in Foolish humans. Little do they understand the power and the potency of the genus. Soon, we will spread not only across the Earth, but into the very heavens themselves! <laughs> Men. 
We tracked General Grange's base to this location. He's a traitor. He's working with the genus and is highly dangerous. Expect heavy resistance. We have 11 numbers of the 14-digit missile launch code. The computers are working to hack the last three. Good work. Soon it will be the end of the old world, and the beginning of my new world order! I'll have the trajectory calculations for re-entry finished in just a few seconds, Lieutenant Lucy. Well, your numbers had better be correct, Doc, or we're gonna go down in a blaze of glory across Australia. Come on, Lieutenant Lucy. I'm a genius. When have I ever given you bad advice? Huh? Uh, don't answer that. Huh? Bud! <laughs> mm. Gotcha! Open it up, Harry. One more little gem of nature. Little freak of nature, more like it. Face, <laughs> bugs, monkeys, and state monsters. Things couldn't get any worse. I feel funny, Harry. But not funny, haha. -ha. Oh, how wicked! Ah, oh, phew! Boy, that's better. Thanks, Wayne. I can barely breathe in there. Not a problem, Wayne. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Great Googa Mooga! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get him off me! Get him off me! Whoa, whoa, hey! You guys think you could keep it down to your normal level of pandemonium back there? <laughs> yeah. Quiet, oh, please. No. Genius at work. Ira, where are you? We're just about to come home, Dr. Reed. Well, don't. Granger's still on the loose, and he has 11 numbers of the launch code. He's also hacked into the controls of the missile platforms. We can't block him. We can't even find him. We may need you up there. Dr. Reed, we're getting satellite confirmation. There's definite missile platform movement. Dr. Reed, we've got a visual on one of the platforms just off the right side. That's starboard, Doc. Hmm, whatever. It's rotating. Granger's aiming the missile platforms. Changing their direction. Can you tell where they're aiming? Yeah, us. Uh, I'm not so sure. Huh. They're aiming at the moon. Whoa, whoa, time out! They're gonna blow up the moon? Why the heck would they want to do that? Why aren't they gonna blow up Earth? That doesn't make any sense. Not unless it could be. Oh man, this just keeps getting worse. I just found two separate genus outbreaks on the moon. That's it. That's what they're planning. Dr. Reed, I figured out what Granger and Scopes are up to. With the nuclear launch of the magnitude available, using all the missiles on the platform's vectored at critical spots on the moon, the genus, with Granger's help, will affect panspermia. In English, please, Ira. Okay, just imagine the launch. The nuclear missiles will do two things. Provide the intense heat so that the genus outbreaks on the moon will evolve and adapt exponentially. And two, the concentrated nuclear blast will blow the moon to pieces. The Earth will get showered with thousands of genus-infected meteorites. Causing outbreaks of unstoppable proportions. And to make matters worse, millions more will scatter throughout the galaxy, infecting untold worlds and planets, probably in some way similar to how the genus got here. Oh, this is not good, Wayne. I couldn't have said it better myself, Wayne. You did, Wayne. Well, kind of. Hey, Since you're me and I'm you and all. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Not only do we have to save the Earth, now we have to save the galaxy as well? We've almost broken the code. Only two numbers remaining, sir. Excellent. It's only a matter of time now until I can save the world from itself and establish my new world order. Time to make sure Scopes is living up to his end of the bargain. Has the communications robot we sent to the moon been activated? It's operational, sir. At the site of the first of the two outbreaks. Scopes! Scopes, answer me! I've gone to great lengths to get you and your kind on the moon. My plan is working. Don't mess it up! Do not worry, human. The genius is of superior intellect. Worry not about our mistakes. You will have all you deserve. Remember, when the Eastern Hemisphere is infected with your kind, you will stop at the borders delineated in our agreement. The Western Hemisphere is mine. As you command, it shall be done. We have to stop those outbreaks on the moon, but I need chemicals, spare parts, tools. Where are we gonna get anything like that in space? That's it! Lieutenant, fly me to the moon. It's, it's just an expression, but uh, I'd be really grateful if you could land us at these coordinates on the moon's surface, just east of the Sea of Despair. I don't like the sound of that. What's there? Several old lunar landing sites. And lots of junk. Moon junk? Wicked! So, General, while you and the Blue Berets try to locate Granger's secret base, Ira and his team of alienators will stop the outbreaks on the moon. Using the decoy remote Linky Retrieve, General, we've pinpointed 206 possible locations for General Granger's secret base. Download them to our systems. We'll check every one if it's the last thing we ever do. We'll have to rely on the fact that our professional alienators are focused in doing their job. Oh, one small step for humanity, one giant leap for genius kind. It's the moon! Woohoo! I made it! I actually landed on the moon! Woohoo! We are so in trouble. Dr. Kane. We'll need the Lunar Rover up and running as soon as possible. Lunar Rover? Oh, think of all the upgrade possibilities. We're on it, Dr. Kane. Sir, we've been monitoring the transmissions from the CID. Dr. Kane has landed on the moon. They could devolve the outbreak. I've taken every precaution. I've had the communications bot outfitted for just such a situation. <laughs> Sending his drone off to battle Kane. Weak minded humans fighting each other. Perfect. Time. But, Lieutenant Lucy, you know LT, she'll pull it out. She's a whiz at blowing things up. Alright, look at that souped up rover go. <laughs> okay, 
guys. Now it's time for us to get busy. We've got to finish off the first outbreak. It's another decoy. But there's nothing to make weapons out of. Come on. Let's see if you can follow me out of this one. Yes! Never mess with a blue beret. How that girl does like to show off. Here we are, Destination Chevalooch. This is Recon 1. Go ahead, Recon 1. We're lowering in the scope now, sir. Got him. I want that building surrounded. Notify me as soon as the men are in position. Recon 1, try and get that scope inside one of those trailers. There's no way you can defeat us! Hey, Scopes! Hope you took lots of pictures because vacation's over! No! Human! You shall pay! Ah! Look at him go! We must be buying time in order to develop an immunity. Come on! We've got to stop him! Break down, one to go. This is Recon 1, sir. Are you receiving the images? Perfectly. Can you move in on the computer screen? He's only down to one number. Hey, General Granger has only to get one more number for the code, and then he can launch the missiles. Don't worry, General. In a few minutes, we'll have scopes and the second outbreak under control. Or not. You know, Ira. It might take more than a few minutes. Think of it as a challenge. Ah! Harry, isn't it amazing how they've evolved so easily in a non-gaseous environment? I believe. Right. Time for a plan. We can't stop the outbreak from here, but maybe we can stop Granger. Huh? Just trust me. Lieutenant Lucy, Harry and I are gonna be needing a ride over here really soon. Better ready the remote grappling hook. On my way, Doc. <laughs> Have you got one of those decoy remote links of Granger's? Yes. Well, hook our comm link into the satellite feed. Kane, are you crazy? Granger will be able to hear us. That's what I'm counting on. Spread the word to commence the attack. And above all, maintain radio silence. Clear me a path right up the middle, Harry. You've evolved to live in a non-gaseous state. How do you plan to live on Earth once you've landed? Foolish humans, you know so little. We will alter the Earth's atmosphere to suit us. Alter the atmosphere? Uh, but won't that make it hard for General Granger and his half of the world to breathe? Granger has served us well. But nothing will stop the advance of the genus. Nothing! You get all that, Granger? What do you think your little partnership now? Oh, it's Kane! This is some sort of trick! Sir, we have the complete launch code. Sir! Kane! I can see through your little games. It's no use trying to trick me! It's no trick, General. It's straight from the genus's mouth. Ranger, sir, we have the codes. We have to launch the missiles. Sir! My world order. It 
It is. It, it, it must. So close. Too close. It has to work. It's a trick. It's got to be a trick. I'm not being used by scopes. I, 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 I'm in control here. I am in control. I will not be played the fool. End of the line, Granger. Area secure, sir. Dr. Reed, I need you in here deep programming the launch code from this computer. I'm on my way. Seventh inning immunity, I wrote. I calculated it would happen about now. Lieutenant Lucy, any chance of a pickup? Buckle your seatbelt, boy. Always do. Yeah. Ira, we've stopped the launch. Good. Now I'll stop scopes. I've created a new mix of the blue goo using red fuming nitric acid and two parts liquid oxygen. Where'd you get that? Leftover rocket fuel. There's a ton of the stuff just lying around. Proof that one man's junk is another man's treasure. Wow, great minds. Think alike. Thanks to the Waynes, the space shuttle is loaded with the stuff, and we can use it to devolve the huge outbreak. The bad news is, there's always bad news. The pilot will have to bail out in space. There won't be enough oxygen in their suit to last very long. And I'm gonna fly it. Nah, no way. I'll fly it, Doc. We can do it, the both of us. Okay, okay, I hear you. Keep your spacesuits on. We'll draw straws. Wait right here, I'll go get the straws. Wait a minute. We don't have any straws out there. Ira! Doc, come back! Don't do it! man I've ever met. Hey, Scopes, special delivery. I did the math. Oh, it's beautiful. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. And at least it's safe. Six. Five. Four. Three. Hey. The sky. It's full of stars. Two. One. Oxygen expired. Look. Look at all the pretty lights. One question, kiddo. How come everything you make looks like a fire truck? Now, does anybody have any idea how we're getting home? Several cleanup crews are en route to the moon. And a rescue shuttle is closing in on your position now. The job well done, people. Your country and your planet are appreciative and proud. And I am too. Now, relax. We'll get you home safe. Oh, there's nothing like seeing this. The stars from space. And you know, Scopes is right. Our human life is such a fragile thing. But what he'll never understand is how beautiful and special it makes our world.